I loved mechanical engineering when I was young, particularly aircraft. I think it is amazing to see large aircraft take off. 23-year-old Anthony Lam has had a passion for aircraft since he was a boy. After he earned an aircraft maintenance engineering higher diploma at the Hong Kong Institute of Vocational Education, he is now working as an aircraft maintenance craftsman trainee in the Hong Kong Aircraft Engineering Company. I was rotated to different sectors, including landing gear, engines, and internal maintenance for training. I think engine maintenance is the most difficult part, since engines are complicated. I'm too big to fix some narrow parts, and I need help. Aircraft maintenance industry emphasizes teamwork. We need to work together to solve the problems. To attract new blood and support the sustainable development of the aircraft maintenance industry, the government launched the Partial Tuition Refund Scheme for the Specialized Aircraft Maintenance Program. If applicants work in a local aircraft maintenance company for a continuous period of at least two years, they will receive a 50% refund of the total tuition fee paid for by the Specialized Aircraft Maintenance Program subject to a maximum sum of $30,000. It took effect from the 2014-15 financial year. There are 50 successful applicants. Anthony is one of them. This scheme can attract graduate students to join the aircraft maintenance industry. Firstly, it can reduce students' financial burden. Secondly, the company can gain a lot of manpower reserves, and it is good for company development. In my view, it is a win-win situation. If they pass the civil aviation department's examination, they can be promoted to engineer in about six years. The government launches different schemes to attract and retain talent for industries with a keen demand for labor. The port and maritime support industries are among them. Isaac Chan graduated from the Maritime Services Training Institute. Now he is working as a deck cadet in a seagoing company, working towards his dream of becoming a captain. I traveled to the U.S. Japan, Taiwan, Singapore, Malaysia, and other places. Our ship has faced inclement weather. Our crews were very professional, and the vessel have advanced design. Overall, the navigation is very safe. I hope to become a captain in the future. Wages are very attractive, almost $100,000 per month. The Seagoing Training Incentive Scheme encourages Hong Kong youngsters to take on and complete seagoing training with the aim of developing their future careers in the port and maritime support industries. Under the scheme, a cadet will receive $6,000 per month from the government during the training period stipulated by the Marine Department as a lump sum on the completion of each employment contract up to the maximum training period of 18 months for deck cadets and 12 months for engineer cadets. In many other industries, graduates will not have high wages in the beginning. This scheme helps us a lot. We can get a reasonable wage and use that subsidy to study and attend different training courses in Hong Kong. After entering the industry and having enough experience, I'm ready for a clear career progression. I'm confident I will reap the benefits in the future. The results of the Hong Kong Diploma of Secondary Education Examination will be released on July 13th. Other than university, vocational training education is another path for the youngsters to achieve success.